Well, hey, welcome to Proven's Garage. Today's episode, we're going to hook up some steering with a crazy mechanism and get some brakes working. So, let's check it out. I love this. We're getting this steering set up, and as you can see here, I'm playing with string. But the reason for that is I need to figure out the angle from here, my spindle, back to the middle of the rear tire. On a regular car with four wheels, it would be the center between the rear tires. You would want to find out that angle, and that's going to give you your Ackerman angle. And Ackerman angle is basically makes your outside tire turn a little bit less than your inside tire because when you're turning the outer outer tire has to take a larger radius than your inner tire so if you don't have it set up with Ackerman steering it's probably gonna handle like shit. <laughs> so anyway I figured out that this is 25 degrees actually I think it was 24 so I made a little tab at 24 degrees I'm gonna weld that puppy on there and then I'm going to get to uh, setting the rest of it up, making some tie rods.
right, we've been lollygagging for a little too long and it's, it's time to get real. We need to make sure that these steering arms, these connecting rods are gonna be the right length because if they're not, it's gonna get bad. So I'm about to make steering tab. I don't, I, I don't know what to call it. The thing that comes off of my steering stem to connect to my tie rods. And I need to make sure that that is the same length as my A-arms are from bolt to bolt. So we're just gonna send it. Let's see what happens, okay? Oh hey, <laughs> so you're probably wondering why I did some crazy mechanism for my steering, and it's a two-part answer. One is my connecting rods here need to be the same length bolt to bolt as my A-arms are bolt to bolt. If they aren't, you're going to get bump steer, and I plan on driving this on the highway. I really don't want to be playing with bump steer. Uh, it can get kind of sketchy. If you don't know what it is, it's when you hit a bump and your wheels tend to toe in or toe out quickly and that could probably cause some bad news. Um, the other reason that I did this mechanism is by having this extra lever, and this lever being shorter than the main lever that's connected to the steering stem, I actually get more angle turning my spindles than I turn the handlebars. So the handlebars can only turn from center to the side 22 and a half degrees, and that's not really gonna be enough. I need to be able to do a U-turn on the street I'm not putting reverse on this thing, that would just be ridiculous. So I need to be able to at least come close to doing a U-turn, and I need more like 33 to 35 degrees of my spindle turning. So that actually made it work. It took me a while to do the math, trust me. It was a fun problem. So the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the kingpin angle, which I mentioned in the first episode in this series. The kingpin angle is basically drawing an axis through where your top A-arm bolts and your bottom A-arm arm bolts to your spindle. Draw an imaginary line through there and then continue that down to the ground. You want that kingpin angle to be pointing at your contact patch of your tire. Now the wheels that I chose for this thing 
are wheels that I just had already. Uh, they're actually off my car. They're the skinnies for the front of my dragster, but they don't have very much back spacing at all. So I needed a really strong ping pin angle. I may end up regretting this choice in the future, but it's what I'm going with because every build I do is a budget build. The interesting thing that it does though is the kingpin angle will tend to return to center when you after you turn. So it's going to cause the tires to want to go back to center. And I think that's a good stability choice to have for driving this thing on the street. I mean, I do think about safety. Speaking of which, let's mount some brakes on this puppy. so long trying to bleed them out and it just wasn't working so I got my hands on another one it's actually off a different bike but it works so I don't care so we got a few things left to do uh, I got to get a clutch cable it's longer uh, I got to hook up the radiator got to hook up an oil cooler make some tabs to mount that but it's hot I'm tired it took me way too long so just Get out of here. See you next time. Go on. Go on, get out. Get out. Love you.